another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Kevin and I'll be talking today about how to use recent documents to open and navigate SOLIDWORKS files. As users of SOLIDWORKS, we're constantly in and out of files located on the network, located on our local machine. To get access to the last 16 files that we've opened, you can hit the R key inside of SOLIDWORKS. That's also found under File, Browse Recent Documents. This is called the Recent Document window. Now this Recent Document window allows you to do many things. First of all, it's very similar to browsing to this file on your drive or network drive. Uh, if we go to each of the little tiles here, we have an opportunity for each tile to pin it up to the Recent Document window, which means it will stay to the window. Underneath each of the tiles is a little pull down menu. You can expand it by clicking with your left mouse. This will give you access to a majority of the commands found in the open dialog. For instance, you can open uh, Resolved, Lightweight, Quick View, um, Large Design Review if it's an assembly. If it has configurations like this one here, all configurations will be listed. You can open up to particular display states. Okay. You can also get access to the references, which are essentially the components or sub-assemblies that are being used by this particular drawing or assembly. Um, in here also, which is kind of neat, you have the ability to also replace a reference. So if you're trying to swap out a part with another part, you can perform all this function from inside the recent dialog. Okay. You can also tell the software to automatically use the speed pack version of this assembly and also to not load lightweight components. Now with this said, um, if I were to click on any tile, it's going to automatically open that particular document. Now I can always hit R again and go back to it. Uh, one of the things that you're able to do with these tiles is drag and drop them into parts to make drive parts assemblies to add to the assembly, or drawings to create drawing views. It's nothing more than dragging from the window, dropping directly inside your assembly environment, and it will drop it right in. So if you're working on a part and you just created it and you want to drop an assembly, just hit R. Last thing, if you look at the tile, just below the tile itself, there is a link to the folder that the document exists in. Now this is great when you're constantly going back and forth to different folders, uh, especially ones you're working out of like a particular project. But if you click show in folder, it will launch that folder on the, uh, that folder location on the machine so that you can get access to any other components that may be listed there. So, recent documents, great place to go to get access to files that you've opened recently. Also to open them in a particular way, whether it be resolved, large design review, or lightweight. Thanks for stopping in to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. We hope to see you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below. 